Good afternoon, students. Myself, Dr. Divya Gildial, in continuation with my lecture series for AKTU BTEC first year engineering physics syllabus. Now I am continuing with quantum physics, the uh, quantum mechanics. My previous lectures, I have introduced you to Schrodinger equation, time dependent, independent, wave function, under what conditions it is acceptable. First, it should be normalized. That is integral uh, square, mod square of the wave function should be equal to one. The wave function should be finite and it should be continuous. Now, today we will do one application of Schrodinger wave equation. That is particle trapped in one dimensional potential well. And we have to track the motion of the particle. This is a very important heading. It is asked either as a numerical or as a derivation in your AKTU paper, not less than 10 mark. Have a look at the question. A particle is in motion along a line where x is equal to 0 and x equal to 1 with zero potential energy at points for which x is less than 0 and greater than L, the potential energy is infinite. Using Schrodinger equation, obtain energy eigenvalues and normalized wave function for the particle. See, once again, in 2022, again, a 10 mark question. Write Schrodinger wave equation for a particle in one dimensional box and solve it to obtain the eigenvalues and eigenfunctions. Okay, so let me first make it clear to you what exactly the situation is. You have been given particle in one dimensional box. At times we use the word well, W-E-L-L, -L, we use that also here when we say that the breadth is very much less than the length. And the situation given here is that the particle has been trapped inside this well and the x dimensions of its movement are x equal to 0 to x equal to L and the probability of finding this particle outside the well is 0. It will be somewhere here inside the well where the potential V is equal to zero and outside it is infinity. So you have to track the particle inside this one dimensional well. So a particle is trapped in the box with infinitely hard walls the motion of particle is specific along the x-axis between x equal to 0 and x equal to L. The potential energy of the particle is infinite on both sides of the box, while V is constant, say 0, for convenience inside the box. Particle cannot have infinite amount of energy. Hence, the wave function will be 0 for x less than equal to 0 and x greater than equal to L. That means particle cannot be outside the well. It has to be inside the well and it will be traveling in the form of a wave. We have to just find an equation for the motion of this particle using Schrodinger equation. So, what is the condition here? You remember Schrodinger wave equation del 2 phi by del x2 plus 2m upon h square bar into e minus v phi equal to 0. Here, in this specific situation, we are taking v equal to 0. So, you put v equal to 0 here. So, this Schrodinger equation becomes del 2 phi by del x2 plus 2m upon h square bar e equal to 0. Now, this is a two-dimensional wave equation. 
we have to just predict the motion of this particle inside the well. So this is what the whole story is about. The solution is very simple. How we used while solving the Schrodinger equation, only thing you should be clearly understanding the concept of what you are doing today. You are finding a wave equation for particle which is trapped inside a one dimensional potential well. Now, we know that this equation is a simple two dimensional equation and the general solution according to mathematics for it will be phi equal to a sine under root 2 me upon h bar x plus b cos under root 2 me upon h bar x where we have to evaluate the constants a and b take it as a mathematical uh, problem that you have been given a two dimensional equation you have to find out the two constants a and b so we will simplify it further by applying the boundary conditions for this wave function which we are taking as acceptable only if it is normalized it is finite and it has a continuous derivative so phi will become equal to zero when x is zero. There is no question about it. Now for x equal to L, that means x equal to L cos theta will become equal to one. So the second term here, this second term in this expression cannot describe the particle because it is not vanishing at x equal to zero. And our condition for the wave function to be acceptable is that we are saying it is inside the well. It is not outside. So we will not take this term. Now we are left only with this term. It will be zero at x equal to L only when your sine term will be zero. That is sine zero is zero. So I can simply write under root 2 me upon h bar l is equal to n pi, where n is an integer 1, 2, 3, and so on. And uh, at this point, the sine value is 0. So this shows that the energy of particle can have only certain values, which are known as eigenvalues. And these eigenvalues constitute the energy level of the system. Remember how we did n equal to 1, n equal to 2, n equal to 3, n equal to 4. So they are quantized. Now we will use the energy expression of eigenvalue E n equal to n square pi square h bar square upon 2 m l square, where n is 1, 2, 3. We will put this value of E here because this condition is being satisfied by my acceptable wave function. So we proceed further. We have put the value of E equal to N square, pi square, H square, H bar square upon 2 M L square in my equation, which is showing me the solution for the wave equation. And we have to find out the constant A. Now here, I have kept the value of E N here. Putting the value of E N, I get sine under root N pi X by L. So uh, phi n is eigen function corresponding to the eigen value E n. For each quantum number n, phi n is single valued and continuous and normalized and the integral of phi n square over all the space should be finite. Only then I will say that this wave function is acceptable. This is the necessary condition for wave function to be acceptable that when I integrate it over the whole volume, when I integrate mod square of this wave function over whole volume, it should turn out to be one. So I know that pi n is equal to a sine under root n pi x by l. 
because this is the acceptable condition, I will integrate this value from x equal to 0 to x equal to L. See, this was the condition x equal to 0 to x equal to L. I am trying to find out the position of this particle which has been trapped in one dimensional potential well or potential box. So here I integrate it from 0 to L. This is the condition of normalized wave function to be acceptable. And pi n is equal to A sine under root n pi x pi L. Here I have put the value, the normalized condition. Now I remember my basic trigonometric formulas before solving this equation sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta. And we put this value here. We integrate sine uh, integral cos theta is sine theta using this formula, equating it equal to 1. The wave function of particle in a box will be normalized only if my constant a is equal to under root 2 upon L. This is exactly where I had started my question. I had said that the equation we are going to solve, we will uh, find out the constants A and B. B was not coming under the criteria of being acceptable. So we neglected B. We solved it with A sine under root 2 Me by H bar. And here we get the answer that the normalized wave function for the particle is under root 2 upon L sine n pi x by L, where n is 1, 2, 3, etc. integral value. Now here, wave function and uh, probability densities of particle, which are confined in a box with rigid walls where the dimensions are x equal to 0 to x equal to L. Have a look for n equal to 1, this half loop up, n equal to 2, probability of the particle, it is consisting of two half loops, n equal to 3, three loops, 1, 2, 3, n equal to 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are eigenvalues of the energy. That means they are depending on n equal to 1, 2, 3, quantized. Now, this numerical is often asked, it is very important. You solve this numerical with me step by step, rest you can do on your own. Find the probability that a particle is trapped in the box L, white can be found between 0.45L and 0.55L for the ground and first excited state. See, the eigen function of a particle trapped in the box of length L, this is exactly what we have derived right now, pi n equal to under root 2 upon L sine n pi x by L, where n is 1, 2, 3, etc. So the probability of finding the particle between x1 and x2 when it is in the nth state is given by integral x1, x2 pi mod square of this pi n dx which is equal to 2 upon L integral x1, x2 sine square n pi x by L dx. Where did we get this from here? This value, pi n. We have squared it. So when you square root 2 by L, it becomes 2 by L. And when you square sine n pi x by L, it becomes sine square n pi x by L. Using the famous trigonometric formula, cos 2 theta is equal to cos square theta minus sine square theta. So sine square theta becomes equal to 1 upon 2 minus cos 2 theta by 2. So we put this value above here and integrate it. So probability of finding the particle between x1 and x2 is equal to 2 upon L integral x1 x2 into 1 minus cos 2 pi n x by l dx. I have shown you all the small small steps which require the basic trigonometric formulas. 
you want, you can skip them also because they are very basic formulas. I am only showing them so that you understand how you reach the answer. In case you want, you can just simply write that from basic trigonometric formula, we get this expression. Now, probability of finding the particle between x1 and x2 when it is in the nth state will be given by x by l minus 1 upon 2 n pi sine square n pi x by l x1 x2. Here in this numerical, we have been given x1 is 0.45 l and x2 is 0.55 l. In case you get a different numerical where the value of n x1 and x2 is different, you write this formula and put those values. So for ground state, that is n equal to 1, simply this n becomes 1, x1 becomes 0.45L, x2 becomes 0.55L. Here we put this value, see. For x, we get uh, 0.55X2 minus x1. We subtract step by step in the sign. We are writing this in terms of sine, sine 198, sine 162, because then this will become common. And we use another trigonometric formula, sine A minus sine B is equal to 2 cos A plus B by 2 into sine A plus B by 2. And then we put the mathematical family uh, value, the probability comes out as 19.8% approximately. Similarly, for the second excited state, same formula and put N equal to 2. You get 0.65%. A particle is moving in one dimensional potential box of width 25 angstrom. Calculate the probability of finding the particle within an interval of 5 angstrom at the center of the box when it is in its state of least energy. Once again, least energy will mean n equal to 1, not n equal to 0. Then pi x is equal to under root 2 upon a or l sine n pi x by l or a and center of the box x is equal to a by 2. Probability of finding the particle, once again, the normalized condition, you get this value, simply put the numerical value of x which has been given to you and you get the answer. Exactly this is how numericals are asked in your AKTU paper. There are many more numericals I have given you for practice here. I will upload this very soon in your uh, drop-down box. You can check the derivations. Thank you.